I threw away old photos of my husband with his late wife years ago. He just found out and hates me for it. This is a throwaway, as I 35F, do not want this connected to my main Reddit account for reasons that will become apparent, if they aren't already are. I met my husband 44M, four years ago, and it was love at first sight. He was a widow and had a daughter, now 17. It was tough to deal with, I won't lie, but I wanted to be with him so badly that it didn't matter. We got married two years ago and we've had our struggles, I won't deny, but overall, it has been a very happy, love-filled marriage. At the beginning of our relationship, I was really jealous of his late wife. He had pictures of her around his home, his family loved her and talked about her, his daughter he same thing, his friends the same. It was tough that I was comparing myself to her, she was beautiful, intelligent, successful. She was a great mother, friend, wife, whatever you can think of. I know that people don't like to speak ill of the dead, but I believe them when they say these things. I did speak to my then boyfriend about these feelings, and he even took down some of the pictures later in our relationship. Still, his house never felt like my home as it felt like it was still hers. When we got engaged, we decided we would buy our own home and we moved in right before we got married. Side note, this was very stressful with a wedding so soon after, would not recommend. During the moving process, I found box after box of old photos and other materials. Photos of his ex, family photos, photos of them together, baby photos, everything. Some of these were Polaroids they were so old. They had been together for many, many years and had so much history together. I don't know why at that moment I snapped, but I did. I threw the ones with her away. When we were putting photos up in the new house, I didn't put any of her except one with my stepdaughter. There was a box of her things and I donated some of the items and threw the rest away. I even went onto the computer and deleted photos he had stored on there. At the time, I felt like I won maybe? I don't even know what I was thinking this would accomplish, but I did it. For the past two years, my husband hasn't noticed. My stepdaughter turns 18 soon. She's a very intelligent girl. She graduated early, goes to a top-tier school, and is very well adjusted for someone who lost her mother so young. We have never been that close. I care for her, I do, but she never opened up to me and has never viewed me as a mom to her. I understand, but it hurts. Anyway, my husband's mom wanted photos of her as she was putting something together for her. He went to look for them and as you can imagine, they weren't there. He asked me about them, and I admitted everything to him, as I wasn't going to lie to him. He is very angry at me, and can barely look at me. I've asked him to go to marriage counseling, but he refuses. I'm 13 weeks pregnant and I'm trying to manage the stress. He's devastated, not just for his daughter, but for himself. I know he loved his late wife very much and if she was still here, he'd probably still be with her. He's been in tears half the time when he's speaking to me and won't sleep in the same room as me. I have tried to explain that I have felt guilty ever since and why I did it, but he doesn't care. He asked me what he's supposed to tell his daughter? Some of the materials I donated slash threw away were really important. I know that I screwed up. I know that I need to make this up to my husband and his daughter, but I don't know how to. This was such a monumental screw up on my part. I have always been jealous of her and I did not handle my emotions correctly. I have tried to track down photos of her by other people, and while I did find some from his parents and her friends, her parents died when she was young and she was raised by her grandparents who are now dead. There aren't many out there. Reddit, I love my husband and I want to fix this more than anything. I know that I am hormonal right now and my mind is wandering around to every outcome that could happen, but what if this is the end of my marriage? I can't let that happen and I need to fix this. I was supposed to get married today, but my cousin sabotaged my wedding, and my fiancé called it off. I can't really blame him for calling it off, because it was for financial reasons. But I feel like I can't talk to him about it because I'll start saying things that I regret. I was set to get married today. It was great, I had everything planned out perfectly. My venue was on the pricey side, but both my mother and aunt said they would help pay for it to make my wedding perfect. I sent invites months ahead to make sure everyone had time to plan stuff if they needed to travel and the drama started when I didn't invite my cousin. I grew up with her because our mothers are close and she is very mentally ill and would always have meltdowns and stuff. Around last year she had a breakdown that everyone seems to ignore now. I'm pretty sure she has BPD and anyone who knows someone with that will tell you how unstable and unpredictable those people are. So I decided that I didn't want a severely mentally ill woman at my wedding to risk ruining it and also we weren't that close to begin with and hadn't seen each other for years. I thought everyone would understand that and it's not like she and I were very close to begin with. It caused a lot of drama and family fighting. My aunt said that if I didn't invite her daughter then she wasn't going to contribute money, and my female cousin's brothers also said that they weren't coming. Then my mom got angry and said that she wasn't going to contribute money if I was going to discriminate against my female cousin. And then other relatives heard that I hadn't invited her because of her mental illness, I didn't even tell anyone it was because of that, just that we weren't close. But I guess she was telling them that I was being bigoted against her because of her illness. I settled things with my mom who agreed to pay, and I even offered my cousin an invite and apologized for excluding her when I initially sent out the invites. 
But she brushed my off and said she didn't want to go to my wedding. But my aunt never accepted the apology and still refused to pay. I thought that that was fine because my fiancé could make up the difference and asked my dad if he was willing to contribute more, he divorced my mom when I was a kid and we're not super close anymore because of it, but he still offered some money, but neither of them were able to pitch in anymore, and my savings also aren't enough unless I wanted to completely wipe them out or take out a loan, and I don't think that's a very good financial choice. I want the perfect wedding but I don't want to go into debt for it. I finally decided to fold and look for another venue, but all of the ones I wanted were booked for the rest of the year. Last month my fiancé told me that we should postpone the wedding for a year so that we find the perfect venue that we can afford. I had to call all my friends and the family members who still wanted to go and basically tell them I was too poor to get married this year. It was humiliating. All of this is because of my cousin who got pissy that I didn't want her at my wedding, and she doesn't even want to go to the wedding anyway, and did her best to turn my family against me. I flipped out on my fiancé because her golden child daughter almost got me arrested. I, 38M, got engaged to my fiancé, 37F, about three months ago. We've been dating for almost three years. She has two kids from a previous relationship, 15F and 12M. Their dad is involved in their lives and for the most part the adults all co-parent and communicate well. I get along really well with the 12-year-old, but I have always struggled to build a relationship with my soon-to-be stepdaughter, Riley. She has made it very clear to me, my fiancé, and her bio dad that she doesn't view me as a parent and doesn't want me to try and be a father to her because she already has one. A few days ago, my fiancé sent me a text asking me if I could pick up Riley from school because she had something come up at work that was going to keep her late. My fiancé usually picks up Riley once a week and brings her to a chiropractic appointment to help with a sports injury Riley got. She told me she would call the school to let them know that I would be picking Riley up because I wasn't on the approved pickup list yet. However, when I got to Riley's school, it quickly became apparent that my fiancé forgot to call the school. The school has locked doors that require you to have a code or be buzzed in by the office. I buzzed into the office to let them know I was there to pick up Riley and that my fiancé should have called to let them know. They didn't know anything about it. I was left waiting outside for 5 to 10 minutes while they figured it out. I tried calling and texting my fiancé but she didn't answer. Then, the school resource officer, an actual uniformed cop, came out and told me that I would have to leave and that if I refused then he would arrest me for trespassing. I tried talking with him but he just kept saying I was not authorized to be on school property and that I had to leave. I had no choice but to leave without Riley. Finally, an hour later, my fiancé called me back. I explained what happened and she apologized for forgetting to call the school because she got distracted with work. She told me she would figure it out and meet me at home. When she and Riley got home, Riley went straight to her room. My fiancé sat me down and told me that Riley had lied to the office and told them that she didn't know who I was and had never seen me before. She thought it would be funny. She told me she explained to Riley how dangerous that was and was going to work with Riley's dad to figure out a punishment. Needless to say, I did not take that news well. I admit I did raise my voice to her. I didn't yell, but I did get louder than I usually talk. She told me to calm down and I told her that I won't calm down because her daughter almost got me arrested because she thought it would be funny. I told her that she's just as responsible for this as Riley is because she didn't call the school and it put me in a position where I looked like a creep or predator. My fiancé thinks I am overreacting and that I need to let her and Riley's dad handle this. 